Good evening, Ozzy. What? Good evening, Ozzy. Hello there. How are you? Fine. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back, music lovers, especially my rock music lovers. That's right. Welcome back for another one. So just recently, we had the 2024 Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction ceremonies. Um, 16 new artists were inducted into the Hall of Fame. You know, and I guess you got to take that with a grain of salt to a lot of people. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is not the end all be all to kind of put a stamp on a career. But I guarantee one thing. If you are a band or artist and you get in, you're going to be happy and proud of it. I could be wrong, but I'm almost going to guarantee it. You know, among those 16 new entries into the Hall of Fame, obviously you had Cher. <laughs> Well-deserving. I mean, she's been around forever. And, you know, Peter Frampton, Jimmy Buffett, Mary J. Blige. But one that is absolutely deserving, been a long time coming, should have been in there 10, 20, 30 years ago. Doesn't matter. They should have already been in there. That is the band Foreigner. So congratulations to them. It's freaking awesome. But the reason we're here, we're going to talk about one man, and this man is the man. The Prince of Darkness, the man himself, Ozzy Osbourne. When it comes to Ozzy Osbourne, the dude has given us a lot. He is 75 years old. Man's up there, man, and he is, he's, he's lived the life, no doubt. You're talking all the way back to 1968 when Black Sabbath was formed, up until 1979 when they ended up firing Ozzy from the band. That was one hell of a career with Black Sabbath. And I've said it before, done a video on Ozzy. Go check it out once you're done with this. Just pretty much to kind of go over his career and who he is and why he is one of the greatest rock and roll frontman artist people in history when it comes to rock. But the Sabbath era, absolutely, no doubt, 100%, a era-defining moment for rock music. And if you just took that moment, no Ozzy solo career, no nothing, that would be iconic and historic in its own right. But Ozzy Osbourne wasn't done then. You fire him from Sabbath, doesn't matter. 1980, he goes out and releases his first studio album as a solo artist. Gets a band together. One of the most iconic guitarists of all time. Life cut short, unfortunately. Randy Rhodes. And he releases The Blizzard of Oz in 1980. And the rest is history. I mean, the dude releases 13 studio albums since he released The Blizzard of Oz in 1980. Those first seven albums were all multi-platinum albums here in the United States. Absolutely amazing. But really what we're going to talk about is him being inducted into the Hall of Fame. You know, a couple key points I want to point out after watching his induction last night. And I want to give kudos to Jack Black because he absolutely killed it with inducting Ozzy. So one of the first and most obvious things I want to point out is Jack Black inducting him. You know, you watch these Rock and Roll Hall of Fame ceremonies. It's really kind of crazy, and I don't know about the rest of you out there, but for me, this is just an absolute truth. And I don't know why, but it's just it just comes natural. I don't know why. When these people are inducting them, when I'm watching somebody doing something live like that, like when Jack was talking, you know, I'm sitting there thinking, okay, don't mess up Jack, but if he does stumble over words or says something wrong, I find myself sitting there thinking, hey, it's okay, Jack, don't worry. Like, he knows I'm telling him that. Or if, if, if that was anybody else, it's like when somebody messes up doing something live, you're like, it's okay. And you want them to know that. But Jack Black, every time I thought he was going to stumble over something, he never did. He nailed it. Because he was obviously 100% a true Ozzy fan. Talks about being 13 years old when he bought Blizzard of Oz and what Ozzy meant to him and then backtracking to Black Sabbath. I mean, true fan right there. It wasn't Jack Black the actor. It wasn't none of that. It was Jack Black, the Ozzy Osbourne fan. And it was authentic, generic, and you could 100% generic. <laughs> you could 100% see that, and it was just so obvious, you know. But the main thing was, and this is what I want to point out, you know, when Ozzy came on stage, he's sitting in that chair, and I'm sitting there thinking to myself, man, well, for one, there's Ozzy. That's him. That's the man right there. He's getting inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And then he starts to talk. He's talking. I mean, it's it's clear to see he is 75 years old. And that's when you start to have this moment of reality set in. That is the Prince of Darkness. That is Ozzy Osbourne. It's one of the greatest of all time when it comes to rock music. But he's human. You know, when he starts talking, you know, he says he couldn't believe he was there either. My first assumption is, 
all the crazy shit he's done, the drugs, the alcohol, the, the stuff that would make you think, this guy would not be sitting there at 75 years old, but yet here he was. And that's what I like to think he meant by that. Now, you know, he goes on to say, break the ice very much when he says, hey, I'm not going to do a big fucking long monologue. I'm going to make it quick. 100% pure Ozzy. Absolutely. You know, I think he spoke for a minute, 45 seconds, somewhere around there. But, you know, he, he thanked the fans. And that's something that you want to really take into heart because it's you hear it so often artists thinking fans people thinking fans and it's just become the norm it's these people are not normal they're larger than life they're not like us and we're their fans and the more fans you got the more people like you the bigger you probably are but they are people they are human ozzy's just a guy he sits on the toilet takes a shit like the rest of us you know he bleeds he gets sick he throws up all that shit he's human you know, and if, if any one of us got out there and blew up and developed the fan base and whatever we were doing, you know, we would still be ourselves. But to them, we're not. We're larger than life. And Ozzy has developed one hell of a fan base. You, you think about the people there since Sabbath and then his solo career and then every generation of young kids that came up that learned about Ozzy and became fans. They're now part of that fraternity of fans for Ozzy. And it's it's I guarantee it's a massive, massive fan base. And I am glad to say I'm part of it. Ozzy is, is one of the best. So distinct. Not the greatest singer in the world. But he is a good singer for rock music. And such an iconic, distinct voice. You know Ozzy. You, you, there's no way you can not tell Ozzy apart from anybody else. Period. But I found myself thinking, you know, he, he's 75 years old. You know, probably not. And I'm going to try and jinx the man, but probably not a lot left in the tank. He's probably to that point now where he ain't got a lot of time left. And I hope it's another 10 years. Maybe I'm doing a video about Ozzy going home to heaven. But whenever that does happen, the dude, I could just imagine the feeling inside of him, in his heart. What he's accomplished, man. The dude, the dude has lived the dream. I applaud Ozzy so much, man. Ozzy is the man. And I just wanted to come on here and say that, man. It was well-deserved. And, man, I could just imagine that long of a career, that great of a career, that much of a successful career has to be one of the most gratifying things, man. The dude has to look in the mirror and say, man, that was one hell of a ride. So, anyway, just to close this out, Ozzy, the Prince of Darkness, the man, is in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. No doubt, 100% deserved. And... Man, what a great, great career and still going until Ozzy decides he's done. You know, it doesn't matter if, if, if Ozzy wants to be involved in something, people are going to let him get involved. It's just the bottom line. He's earned that right. But anyway, so happy for Ozzy. So happy for all of the other bands and artists that got into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Absolutely amazing. Especially an extra, extra applause for Foreigner, man. That, that one's just insane that they haven't gotten put in there before. But they're there now along with Ozzy and everybody else. So till next time, go out there and take care of yourself, your friends, your family. Do something amazing. You never know when you do something you love, how long you're going to be doing it for. If it might turn into your living, it might be able to sustain your whole life, your family. And if you're actually doing something that you love, it's never work. But you'll never get there if you don't go for something. Whatever that something is for you, I don't know. But for everybody, there is something. Just a lot of us are afraid to go for it. Don't be afraid. Till next time, take care of yourself. I'm out.